That does explain a lot. All the more reason to save as many people as we can. My eye? What eye? Oh, this eye. Oh, my friend, that is a long story. The telling really demands a whole barrel of ale, but fair enough, I'll tell you anyway. My adventuring once led me to the frozen lands of Irisen. Back then, I was on a quest for the Ice Flower, a rare crystal that I hoped to add to my collection. And out of the blue, I was set upon by three frostworms, if you'll believe it. I dispatched two of them, but the third knocked me over a cliff edge. Down and down I went, and then a branch on the cliff face pierced my eye, and that's how I survived. A small price to pay, eh? <laughs> so don't worry about me, as they say, what the eye cannot see, the heart cannot miss. <laughs> Irisen, Frostworms, a conveniently placed branch. Listening to his jabbering is hurting my ears. Make him stop, will ya? A good kick should do it. There he is on yonder hill! I bet he's pulling some awful faces at us from under that ridiculous mask, yup! Let's wallop him so he sends us back and troubles us no more! Hold on. Aren't you going to explain any of this? Where are we? Who is that fool in the mask and what does he want from us? I don't know! I swear I don't! I, I can make a pretty good guess more like. You see... Uh... How do I explain it? I swear on my fluffy socks that I don't know what I've got myself tangled up in. That fellow's been on my tail for days and days, even before I got to Canabras. I could sense his presence deep in my gut, and that's all I know. I bet he's got something nasty in mind. Hey, you! Why don't you come down here and tell us who you are and what you want from us? <laughs> to deny me what was mine by right. And the rod, my rod, you will pay for that. My face is hidden, 
My name shrouded in secret. I am a servant of the Great One. And a vessel for his might. I am nothing. But I am destined for greatness. The usual cultist gabble sounds mysterious, but it's just empty words. The mortals have forgotten the name of the Great One. They will remember it. They will remember it and tremble. Hear the name of my master and yours, doomed ones. Sithard. Huh? I thought he was going to say Baphomet or Discari. Sith who? That's a new one for me. Not you. The gnome. A long time. Too long. In the abyss. In the kingdom of my master. Your to the master of all worlds. It is something that came into his possession by chance. Something he does not understand. A shard of the Great One's power. The same power resides within me. But I mastered it. I absorbed it. I learned its ways. Once I have gathered all the shards, my master will be reborn. I have hunted him for a long time. He is mine. Mine by right. He has my treasure. And you do not dare to give me orders. You will all suffer the same fate. You will be but frozen bones beneath my feet. Someone's cocky. Aren't you afraid you'll slip? From you. I want you to die. From the gnome, I want a stolen treasure. Something he acquired by chance. Great power. It is mine. Mine. Maybe I didn't know how to wield this power, but I swear on my bandaged eye that I will soon learn! Thanks for keeping him talking. While he was poking around in my head, I was poking around in his. Alright then, let's get ourselves back home before he gains the upper hand again. Whose side are you even on? What's going on here? I'm on our side, of course. Who else is? As for what's going on, I heard the same as you. That scoundrel serves someone called Sithod. No doubt a hideous creature with a name like that. He carries within him a piece of this Sithod's power, and it seems I do too. I don't have a clue what's going on, but everything's relatively clear. All right, enough chit-chat. This villain will come to at any moment and close the portal. Get going. Shoo! Don't you worry about me. I'll be sticking around here. No, 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 no! Remember what happened with the Inquisitors? I understand now. It was my fault. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault, but that rotten scoundrel was after me, and others suffered for it. And the same thing happened in the tavern. That one in the mask won't leave me alone. He'll find me wherever I go, and he'll kill another lot of innocent bystanders in the process. Trying to play the hero? 
You'll die here for nothing. Can't you come up with a smarter idea? If I were you, I'd go back, round up some of my pals, and set a trap for this creep. Actually, you know what? I don't give a damn. Do what you want. If you were a little bit smarter, you'd stick with us. But if you're just looking the grandstand, have at it. Get frostbite on your ass and die here if it'll make you happy. Come on, let's go home. There's no reason for us to stay here. That's what I've been telling you. Go! But I'm not running anymore. I'm going to finish this right now. I've made up my mind and you won't talk me out of it. I swear on my gold earring. Have you lost your mind? We're in the middle of nowhere, in a blizzard, without hats, gloves, or even a fur coat between us. And now with no way home. Hmm. You'll live to regret this, mark my words you will. But even so, thank you. You are true friends. Your words have warmed my heart. <laughs> well, since we're all stuck here now, onward. Let's take down that masked madman.